Jason had a frustrating day yesterday. I don't often see Jason get frustrated. But yesterday I saw Jason get frustrated visibly. I think his frustration just stemmed from probably it's hunting and there being other people around. He had heard of elk that we put to bed that he was sitting on that were still there in the morning. And some other guys kind of came up in there blowing a bugle tube about every 10 seconds. Poorly, I might add, but it's public lands hunting, man. You just never know what's going to happen. Anybody can be on it. We're all chasing the same animals. Nothing you can do about it. Shrug it off and move on. So hopefully he has a little bit better luck today. Got. Let's see. Today is. The... We've got three and a half days left of the deer season here. So three days after today. I'd really like to, to uh, get a crack at a nice buck. Typically, for me anyway, later in the month is better. Those bigger bucks start rolling out of the high country, get filtered through. The hard part is just trying to see them, get a glimpse of them as they're moving. Because they don't, they don't bop out to the open that often or for very long. the footage of me shooting that elk a couple interesting things happened number one uh, I don't I'm not I think I might have just had a clean miss on that elk I thought I hit it felt good looked good um, in terms of what I the way the elk reacted but I'm not so sure that that elk was even hit didn't see didn't slow the footage down quite a bit there was like no puff of hair Usually when you slow it down like that, you can always see like a pop of hair come out when you hit an elk and there's just nothing. So I'm not, I'm not sure I even hit that bull, which would honestly make me feel better. I'm not above missing every once in a while. It happens. As much as uh, I like to think I don't miss, especially with a rifle at that range. Stuff happens, I guess. So. But I got a lot of days left. A lot of days to hunt. So, I should be able to get some more opportunities for these. Hopefully, get some. to kind of get up high here about four o'clock now just sit and watch till dark there's an okay number of elk around not a ton but there's an okay number and then ideally get lucky and get a find a meal to your buck be really the icing on the cake here but that's pretty much it See a glass. Sure.
be good for a moment. A little bit. We've had a few other hunters around. And we've been hearing shots. A couple of those shots came from where I think Brad is. So if I had to put my money on it, I'd say it's probably a good shot that he was one of those ones and shooting today. In general, I'd say that about Brad. If he's gonna be out there, he really has a way of making success happen. He's about the most driven guy I know and uh, does his research and takes his time to figure out how to do things right and do things well. Both as a hunter and actually as a business person. I've just learned a lot from the guy.
sacrifices for us so my hope is on this trip that he actually gets to gets to do some hunting for himself and is successful so I'm gonna go off and start walking to my left through the trees over the years we've found some uh, we found elk for sure back in there almost constantly didn't see any today but that does not mean that I might have missed them right at daybreak going into the trees I'm going to try to find a spot to set up with some good views and wait out the evening. I don't mean to walk back in the dark, but it's a pretty easy spot to, to travel through on the way home back to camp. Just constantly 
He's a guy that does not like to slow down and nap like I do, like I just did, <laughs> as much as I do. Um, he's just pretty remarkable in how he approaches everything in life. He's uh, definitely not even close to the biggest bull I've shot. Honestly, I, don't, I really don't care. My kids love elk more than anything. I guess so do I, elk meat, so. Just happy, get one down. God, they're a beautiful animal. This is what our fourth day of hunting and I've seen a lot of fair number of elk on this trip but really not many bulls. This is just like not a big bull unit at all. This is kind of an opportunity. I would describe as an opportunity unit which is perfect for me. When it comes to elk That's all I really care about. We got to uh, now. We've got to cut this guy up. Get a, get the quarters hanging, and we're gonna try. It's early enough in the day. We're gonna try and go down and get the llamas. I'm gonna try and 
come back up and grab the meat and bring it back all the way back down to camp today. So not to mess with it tomorrow. Because after today, I've got two more days to hunt for deer. So I'd like to be able to use those instead of having to shuttle meat. Now the work begins.